In this video, let me introduce the small project we're going to build throughout the View Essentials tutorial. Harry Potter is getting ready for Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He needs to buy some back-to-school supplies. Right now, there are five items in his shopping cart. Each shopping cart item has an image, product name, unit price, status, either in stock or on back order, and also the quantity. And I can change the quantity of each item, either through minus or this plus button, or simply just type in a number in this input box. While I'm doing that, the order summary here should change, showing the updated subtotal, shipping estimate, text estimate, and order total. I can also delete an item from the shopping cart by clicking this cross button. And of course, this order summary will change accordingly. Right now, if I click, nothing happens because this is from a static HTML page. That means everything here is hard coded, as you can see here. So here are all the styles. Now, this H1 corresponds to here. If I collapse this, now this entire shopping cart is in this DIV. So here, this DIV, line 195 to line 286, is the left side. It has the cart list. And the right side, order summary, is defined from line 287 to line 309. But now, everything is hard-coded. I included a link to this static HTML page in the description of this video. Feel free to download and read the source code. In the next couple of videos, we will incrementally add Vue.js to this static HTML page to implement all these features to make this web page dynamic. On a side note, when a new software product is in its early development stages, one important task is to come up with a prototype for the UI of the software. The easiest way to do prototyping is paper and pencil mockups or paper prototyping. We can also design several static HTML pages like this one. So when you are given this static web page, you need to engineer it using your favorite JavaScript framework. In our case, we will use Vue.js. So let's go ahead and create a Vue project for this Hogwarts shopping cart project. Product name, Hogwarts Shopping Cart. No to everything. I just created a new view project for the Hogwarts shopping cart. So first, let me delete some files and folders that we do not need. We don't need the components for now. And in the assets, we don't need the three files. Instead, I'm going to copy and paste the product images into the assets. Paste. As you can see, we have Dragon Lever, Golden Snitch, Nimbus 2000, and so on and so forth. The image folder is available in the description of this video. Now, let's go to main.js, and we do not need this main.css. Delete that. All right. So as you can see, I split my screen into two parts. On the left side is the view project we created for Hogwarts shopping cart. On the right side is the static HTML page, the prototype of the shopping cart. What I'm going to do next is to copy the code from this static HTML file into our view project. So let's go to app.view. And we can collapse this 
to have more space here. Let me delete everything here. And then insert this snippet. VBase3 setup. All right. Next, let's start to fill in the blanks. The HTML should go to here, the template. All the CSS should go to the style. And in this case, we're not using CSS. So let me do that. All right. So first, let me copy all the styles from the static HTML page into our app.view. So it starts from here. Copy and paste here. Format. All right. Then let me scroll up. It's time to fill in the template. So here, everything under body from line 192 all the way down to line 311. Copy and paste here. Format. Okay. Now in the end, let me scroll all the way up here. We also need to include this CDN link in our view project. Since we're using two icons from Font Awesome, then where do I put the link to an external CDN? So first I'm going to copy this. Recall that we have an index.html page right here. So click here. And here we go. Paste. Now we can close this HTML page. So let me close it. Let me close the index.html as well. What we need to do next is to change the image SRC. So for now, the path here is not correct. The image is actually under SRC assets image. SRC assets image. So here we're supposed to write src slash assets slash image, right? But recall that in vit.config.js, we have an alias, a shorthand for this dot slash src path. So what we need to do is we can simply just use at slash assets slash. So here I'm going to edit multiple paths so I can use the multi-cursor feature in VS Code. So click here and then press Option or Alt. And then click the next one. The third image. The fourth image. And the fifth image. OK. Now they are all selected using multi-cursor. I'm going to use at slash assets slash and then we'll format them. OK. Now our view project can find the path to all those images. OK, are you ready? Let's start our project and see what it looks like. npm install first. Okay, then npm run dev. All right, so let's take a look at our shopping cart. Okay, great. Now we have this shopping cart in a view project. But unfortunately, everything here is still hard coded, like Harry's shopping cart, all the product names, and so on and so forth. In the next couple of videos, we will use what we learn from Vue.js to incrementally implement all these features. All right, let's dive into the core Vue concepts. See you in the next video.